it's a piano for oh, Thanks. It's just a matter of practicing. A matter of practicing? I was practicing faking. Boba, you okay? Something bothering you? Hmm. What are you hiding there? It's that rock formation, isn't it? The one you found when we were exploring the surface of Cygnus 12? The one the commander and Miss Davenport said you couldn't bring with you? Maybe. There are lots of them around. I figured who's gonna care? Hmm. And nobody saw you sneak it aboard? No. I'll tell you what. Why don't we just keep this between the two of us? We're due for class. You coming? Sure, why not? It's not like I had any other plans. Why did you bring that rock aboard anyway? My present. For myself. That's all. Hmm. After all, most people get a present on their birthday. Like my dad in the star dog, fighting and drunk and, 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 and exploring. Uh, my folks were famous diplomats. My mom and dad are doctors. My parents are me. And what about you, Radu? I, uh, don't like to boast. Well, I notice you all speak of your parents. But what of your grandparents? Your great-grandparents? Four or five generations back? I want each of you to prepare a family tree. My Porter Pewter has detailed Star Academy records. You should be able to trace your family tree back centuries. You have information on everybody? Except you, Radu. Our little space mishap occurred before the Andromedan government gave us your family history. You will have to fill it out as best you can. Oh, uh, that's fine. Hey, Kat, you used to see the stuff I'm finding out about my family tree? Oh, man, it's incredible. I was researching mine earlier, and yours won't even come close. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Ooh, well, for starters, there's Joshua Band. 400 years ago, he was a slave in Georgia. Wound up escaping to freedom, then he went back and helped others to escape, and then later became a famous explorer. Wait, a slave? Yeah. He was actually kidnapped from his home, sold into slavery. It was legal on Earth back then. Crazy, huh? So we have something in common. Like what? My ancestors were slaves, too. You know, slaves of the Spong during the war. And it was terrible for us. I mean, not being in control of... Look, 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 look here, do. Radu. Whatever. There's a big difference. The people in my family, they fought against slavery. The people in your family, they just knuckled under. They, they didn't even... Not that that doesn't mean... Just, just don't say anything, okay? I know, I know. 
You have got to lay off of him. I know, I know. Well, what are you going to do about it? I don't know. I, I try. I really do. I, I try to treat him okay. But then I think about my dad. Been killed in the war by Andromeda. But you're getting mad at the wrong guy. I mean, don't you realize that? Yeah, I, I realize that. But only after I open my mouth. Okay. How about if I help you? I can... Give you signals. Yeah. When you're talking to Radu, keep an eye on me. And if I talk on my ear, no matter what you may be thinking, say something like, like, I absolutely agree, or you couldn't be more right. Be as agreeable as possible. Hey, I'll try anything if it'll make the trip back less aggravating. Especially for you. Especially. from you. But my ancestry is so dazzling, it'd be overkill to do too much with the presentation. Screen off. What? Are you doing something flashy? Oh, no, no, uh, I decided to keep it simple. Upon the white-hot surface of Mercury, a group of determined colonists settled and forged a life for themselves. A life that resulted in the production of Rosie Ioni! Fun-loving, optimistic, humble, Rosie Ioni, daughter of Gunta and Dahlia Ioni. You call that simple? Relatively. But our story doesn't really begin there. It begins with the creation of the universe! trouble with Miss Davenport because you snuck some rock sample aboard? She gave me ten demerits. Doesn't matter. Well, but whatever it is, we can make it okay. At least give me a chance to help. Please. I was just thinking about my family. Wondering if they celebrated without me. Celebrated what? Kids. We told Bo that we collected enough mineral specimens and he had to drag that aboard. Not that I care about some piece of rock, it's the principle of the thing. Well, I can't just dump it into space. Space hates litter. I could feed it into the ship's recycling system while we do routine maintenance on the protomix tomorrow. Okay, stash it in the airlock until then. Now my great-grandfather. He was on the mission that made first contact with the resilience. It was only voice communication, but still. That's nothing. My grandfather was on the diplomatic team that first arranged for colonizing of the planets on the solar system. What about you, Radu? 
What's your family tree like? Uh, I'd really rather not talk about Come it. Come on. You'll have to tell us sooner or later. It's nothing special. Really. No kidding, I say you're nothing... Uh, you're, you're, you're right. I'm right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. About not being anything special. Right. I mean, I mean, no, uh, no, you're not right, but, but you're right in a, in a, in a certain way. Uh... Yes, well, little rock. This time, tomorrow, you'll be space dust. Look, I just don't have any major people in my family. Uh, see, Cat, he's not holding out, so don't bother him. I mean, so what if he's got nothing in common with us? Big deal. I mean, heck, he's probably got something to hide, but that doesn't matter. I've got nothing to hide. You want to know about me? Fine. I I'll tell you about uh, my father, Umar, who was... Uh... No, no, no. I I'll tell you about his father, Udar, the, uh, the untamed. And, uh, he was married to Amra, who was, uh, uh, what would you call it? President? <laughs> yeah, yeah, our, our president. Your grandmother was president and your grandfather was a pioneer? <laughs> wow. Right. Wow. So you see, I've got as good a family as you. I'm as good as any of you. Two days ago, by Uranus time, it was Boba's birthday. Why didn't you tell us? Yeah, man, we love birthdays. We're birthday animals. <laughs> hey, uh, it, it's my birthday, too. Can you tell? Can I tell what? But I'm trying to watch what I say to you because it's not always going right, and I... You just wanted me to know? Yeah. Why are you telling me? Because it's, it's your birthday, and it's not like I can go out and shop for you or anything, so my, my present to you is honesty and, and just treating you like one of the guys. Okay? Honesty. Yeah. That's not too tough, is it? Uh, no. No, not at all. Uh, thanks. It's what I always wanted. You finish your family tree? Uh, no, I was just about to. Well, good luck. And, uh, happy birthday. Oh. What did I tell them? Was, uh, Umar the Untamed? No, no, that was... That was Udar. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was it. party for Boba and Radu. Oh, maybe later. Although I'm surprised Radu knows his birthday. I didn't think any Andromedans did. Why? Oh, this isn't generally known. Stardogs is still researching it. But I've heard... What have you heard? Why does Miss Davenport want to see us? Uh, some new science project, I think. Hey, Boba! Boba, I've got something for you. A present. Radu, your timing perfect. Perfect? Why perfect? I don't get it, Rosie. Why is the time important? Surprise! Happy birthday! We have gifts, a game or two lined up, and a lovely cake. I don't know what to say. Oh, yeah? How about thanks, everyone, but I lied. I don't even know when my birthday is. Or, or maybe you want to say Andromedans are born in hatcheries. With no past, no known family, nothing. Because uh, having no family makes us better fighters, slaves, whatever. You were laughing at me, weren't you, Reddy? 
while I was standing there talking about honesty and birthdays, you were laughing at me. I feel like a complete idiot because I trusted you. What just happened here? that information I gave you. If I'd known what was going on, I'd never have told... What? Tell me the truth? Since when is telling the truth something you get yelled at for? Let me talk to him, okay? I lied, and they all knew I lied. That's why. I guess wanting to have a family, even a pretend one, was too much to ask for. You couldn't understand. I couldn't. My understanding has always been that a family is not only those from whom you are born, but those to whom you belong. Did I screw up, too? No. Not at all. I tried to be nice, and I tried to watch what I said, but it just didn't work out. And he didn't make it any easier. Admit it. Okay, I admit it. He messed up, and so did you. And he said dumb things, and so did you. And he got mad when he shouldn't have, and so did you. Good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you finally see it my way. I guess I haven't been of much help. You should really be talking to someone you have a lot more in common with. Absolutely. Like I do. Already? All of you, get as far away as possible. Hurry! It wasn't like this before. It seems to be getting heavy by the second. It doesn't want to get close to the breaking point. Get it off the ship. We can't. It'll die. Die? It's a rock from Cygnus 12. No, it's an egg. Like the kind I was hatched from. You mean there's a baby Andromedan in there? No, no. It's a rare animal from Andromeda called a Gurkle. And it's having trouble being born. Look, if I don't crack it open, if I don't help it... Please, trust me. Let's not cost this creature its life. It's dead, isn't it? Radu. Wait. Just wait. Mr. Radu, you're a father. I think they say you can't choose your relatives. Happy birthday. He won't stay still. What's wrong with him? Her, actually. I don't know. Wait, I bet I know. There are other eggs back on Cygnus 12. I bet she wants to go home. Giving someone a family as a birthday present. It's a pretty nice thing to do, isn't it? I tend to agree, Bova. Arlen, Radu, take us back to Cygnus 12.
the upper atmosphere of Cygnus 12. Take us in for a landing, Mr. Band. Uh, I don't think that would be necessary, Commander. Uh, if I may? It's your party, Redu. Rosie Catalina, get the airlock ready. Bova, put the Gurkle down and stand back. If I'm right, she'll do the rest. <laughs> Inner door sealed. Inner door open. You know, Mr. Redu, the first thing they teach you in command school is that you must never express regrets. It undermines crew confidence. If I were allowed to do so, I would apologize for having caused you embarrassment. But you understand I can't. Understood, Commander. Miss Davenport, I thought I'd turn my assignment early. My family tree. <laughs> you have to say, Harlan? Yeah, that's all I have to say. I'm sorry. I heard that. I knew you would. 